Hey there, welcome to another video and I hope you are doing well at home and I'm really sorry कि आज भी मैं मेट टॉक वाला वीडियो नहीं ला रहा हूँ बिकॉज मुझे जो भी इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल रही है वो कोविड नाइन्टीन की मिल रही है और वो सब तो आप न्यूज़ में देखते ही होंगे एंड अगर मैं वो वीडियो बनाता हूँ तो उस पर ज़्यादा व्यूज़ भी नहीं आते दैट्स वाई मैं मेट टॉक वाला वीडियो थोड़े दिन के लिए पोस्टपोन कर रहा हूँ आज हम करेंगे इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो एंड आई होप कि आप एंड तक देखेंगे सो वॉच टिल द एंड सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द इलेक्ट्रॉन transport chain and first question that arise in your mind is that what is electron transport chain so i'm not going to uh, tell you the definition but simply i can tell that it's a simple transfer of electron and where it occurs so it occurs in the mitochondria now and specific in a mitochondrial membrane now uh, before knowing the electron transport chain there are two definition which uh, you have to know one is oxidation so oxidation is the loss of electron electron and reduction reduction is the gain of electron now let's discuss the whole electron transport chain with only three images okay so let's discuss the first image and a six standard students also can tell which organelle is this so this is simply mitochondria and here it's a outer membrane this one is a inner membrane inner mitochondrial membrane now and uh, the yellow color part inside yellow color part is a matrix and in between the outer membrane and in between the outer membrane and inner mitochondrial membrane there is a intermembrane space so this is the site of electron transport chain okay so now let's discuss about the electron transport chain complexes so it has a four complex complex 1 complex 2 uh, complex 3 complex 4 and fifth complex is also known as a atp synthase complex so now let's discuss about the complex 1 this is complex 1 now what happen here nadh is oxidized into the nad plus now here oxidation occurs so previously i told that loss of electron means oxidation so here one electron lost now that electron is transferred or gained by complex q its other name is a ubiquinone so here what happen nadh is oxidized okay oxidized and q complex is reduced so what's the name of this complex nadh q oxido reduction tases now what are the components of this complex so its component are fmn and iron sulfur protein now let's talk about the complex 2 so here this is complex 2 now what is the function of complex 2 so here fadh2 is oxidized into the fad and this step is present in tricarboxylic acid cycle as a succinate to the fumarate now here oxidation occur so loss of electron also occur so one electron is lost now that electron is transferred or gained by the complex q or ubiquinone so what happen here oxidation occur of fadh2 to fad okay means succinate to fumarate it's a oxidation and complex q is a reduced so what's the name of this complex succinate q oxido reductases now component of the complex 2 are fad and fe sulfur complex so now let's talk about the complex 3 so here this is the complex 3 now what happen here what is the function of it now complex q transfer the electron to the complex 3 means loss of electron occur that is why here complex q is oxidized now that electron uh, that is gained by the complex 3 is again transferred to the cytochrome c so what happen here cytochrome c is reduced so what is the name of this complex this complex name is q cytochrome c oxido reductases and what are the components of complex 3 so they are the cytochrome b cytochrome c1 and iron sulfur complex so now let's talk about the complex 4 so here this is complex 4 this is complex 4 now what is the role of complex 4 so now cytochrome c transfer the electron to the complex 4 so cytochrome c is oxidized okay 
Now that electron which is gained by the cytochrome uh, complex 4 is transferred to the O2 and O2 is converted into the H2O and it is a final step and irreversible step. So final acceptor of electron is the O2. Now what is the name of this complex? So the name of this complex is cytochrome C oxidase and what are the component of this complex? So components are uh, cytochrome A and A3. Now let us discuss about the complex 5 or ATP synthase separately. So it has a 2 unit FO unit or F1 unit sorry FO unit and second one is a F1 unit. Now here this is FO unit that red colored part okay and this part in the matrix this is the F1 unit. Now FO unit can also uh, span through the inner mitochondrial membrane or it is along the inner mitochondrial membrane and it has a proton channel. So proton are getting transferred from intermembrane space to the matrix via the FO unit this one FO unit proton are getting transferred from this unit. Now, F1 unit has a 9 component which component are there let us discuss. So, it has a 3 beta component you can see that 3 alpha component 2 are on the anterior side and 1 is on the posterior side. Now, it has a 3 another unit and they are the gamma epsilon and delta and this gamma unit it is a rotatory unit okay so gamma can rotate also okay so let's discuss the whole electron transport chain mechanism now first step occur here is jumping of electron electron jumps from complex 1 to complex q from complex q to complex 3 then cytochrome c then complex 4 and then o2 now what happen if electrons are jumping it releases the free energy and that free energy is utilized in form of H plus. So H plus goes to inner intermembrane space from matrix. Now what happen if H plus goes to intermembrane space from matrix? Here positive charge increases in the intermembrane space and on matrix negative charge is going to increase. So, it creates a potential difference. Now, I have said one thing that complex 5 has two components F0 and F1 and F0 has a proton channel. It can transfer proton from intermembrane space to the matrix. So, that protons from intermembrane space are getting transferred into the matrix and by doing this that gamma going to rotate and that gamma rotate conformational changes in the beta subunit occur and ADP is going to convert into ATP and that is how ATP are derived from the NADH and FADH2. So, it is a whole electron transport chain mechanism. So that's the today's short video and I hope ki aapko pasand aaya hoga and agar pasand aaya hai aur bhi aise videos chahiye to please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon.